Welcome along to Oncom Primary School with me as teacher Carl Clegg. This is very, very exciting and I think this is just going to be one of these things that you go, wow, you built an electric car. We did, yeah. <laughs> um, it was a crazy idea I put to the head teacher. Maybe we could try and encourage girls to get into engineering and we needed something, a really big hook, so we thought let's try build an electric car and she was like great let's go for it okay so hopefully this will try and encourage girls to get into engineering because there seems to be a bit of a shortfall uh, nationwide about 20 percent of all engineers are female and when it comes to taking the stem subjects at high school the science technology engineering and mathematics the girls are falling behind so we wanted to try and address why that is uh, at the age of 11, 46% of girls are interested in a career in engineering, whereas at the same age, about 65 to 70% of boys. So why is it that the girls are not following down that pathway? Is it traditional stereotypes? Is it parental expectations? Or is it something we can do as a school to try and address um, by giving them the opportunity? Just a way of opening the door, have a go. So when you came up with this idea, were the girls... like? Have you, you know, yes. yes, 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 or was it my, oh no. I wasn't sure if they'd go for it, but out of yeah. uh, this potential 50 girls we had in year five and six, uh, 45 came to the first meeting, 30 submitted applications to try and be a part of the team. I wish I could have taken more on. So it just shows you that the enthusiasm is there and the initiative is there. Just got to go for it. It's such a double whammy, isn't it? I mean, a, building the car, but yeah. uh, the girls won't do it. And yeah. we shouldn't think like that, of course. Yeah. It shouldn't even be a news item. It shouldn't. About being girls, but that it is shouldn't, the fact. Statistically, that's it. And yeah. overall, in this country, we're going to be looking at a shortfall of perhaps 40,000 professionals without the STEM qualification. So it's another means of trying to address that. Also, for Ankin School, it's a great way of uh, making connections with our local community. We've had Triumph Group on board. They've sponsored some of the money to purchase the car and Manx Telecom so it's a great way for us to reach out to our community and get them involved and Triumph have been excellent they've offered us the opportunity for the girls to go up and be shown around the factory and uh, just anything that will encourage them if one of the girls out of the 15 goes on at some point in the future to be an engineer then everything would have been worth it or if they all go on and think about more STEM subjects for high schools in uh, IGCSEs and A-levels fantastic well, they're all very keen to talk to us, but we picked out one, didn't we, to talk to? Yes, we did. We picked out Roxy. And this is what she had to say. Well, it's just the fact that when Mr Clegg got us together and he said not many people were into doing engineering and it was about a car, I like cars and I wanted to um, do something to do with a car. Was it difficult? I mean, do you get an instruction manual and just put it together, you know, bit A into B, or was it a bit more tricky than that? Um, well, it was a bit more complicated than that, cause, but we didn't do much of it. The year five, so the year six did quite a bit of it, but mm -hmm. what we did, we did it quite good, and we could understand it. Uh, have you been in for a ride yet? Uh, we haven't actually <laughs> rode it properly, but we've Check your insurance policy for <laughs> we've been We've been pushed in it. Have you? Yeah. Are you confident it's going to go today, because this is a big opening? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It will go, it will go. So, has this made you, by the way, interested in engineering because this is what it's all about do you think you've got yeah. more yeah yeah any ideas what you want to do when you leave school yet was it too early well, I, well, I kind of know but it's not to do with engineering right but this is going to be great in CV isn't it to say that I built an electric car at school <laughs> well yeah it was pretty cool that we built an electric car at, co at school that can drive how nice is your teacher pretty cool yeah yeah, yeah. it's cool Roxy very enthusiastic uh, as they all are. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> she has actually loved this project. And uh, right from the start, she's thrown herself into it 100%. So, I mean, how do you finance this through the sponsors you mentioned there? Um, I mean, we've had sponsorship from our local business community as in the Triumph Group. Mm -hmm. And also one of the uh, students' parents worked for Manx Telecom, so we had sponsorship mm -hmm. from yeah. them. And we've also had money from the OSA, the Onken um, Parent Association. So we built it on the basis of those three Will you be taking us to work, or is, is it road, is it road worthy? I'm not sure. But to, um, where are we going to see it? We're just really hopeful it'll go all day today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's got the big uh, opening, of course. <laughs> well, we've got quite a lot of uh, engineering people coming today mm. to uh, to celebrate with us the girl's success. And if it breaks down, hopefully one of them can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do next? I mean, now um, you've done it, there's obviously an interest it's, here. It's a very large project to put in the school. There isn't a lot of space, so I think we'll go downsize next time. And hopefully, I'd really like to try and make a drone with a camera. That will be fun as the next engine. This is a school to come to. This is great. <laughs> and uh, 
Was there any particular challenges on the way on this? Um, just really, the school lockdown has put everything back three months and this is why we're really keen to get this opportunity just to get the project out there and get the publicity and to, to celebrate the girls' success.